It's for both of you. Just, Eric, what you can say, I know you came off with about four minutes left and you had a hand on your chest and then one up to the fans and then Kylan, just what this moment means to you as well. Both of you guys have been through it all here at Syracuse and you're reaping the benefits right now. Yeah, I mean, you just said it. We've been through a lot. Um, so, you know, we kind of just took the moment in. You know, it still ha really hasn't hit me that this is my last game playing here in the Dome. Um, it's really been an honor. Um, you know, it's one of my favorite places to play. So I was just talking to Ryan Guthrie about that. Um, but, I mean, it's just been an incredible experience and happy for the way things have been going. But we still got, you know, two games left in the regular season that we're still trying to get. Yeah, like Eric said, I mean, playing at Syracuse has been an incredible experience. Just the history here and, uh, you know, all the guys that came before us, it's good that we could, you know, go in our last season and, you know, have a winning season and, you know, give this program and the fans what they deserve. So it's been good. Eric, uh, if you can, uh, think back to that first game when Drug gets hurt 10, 15 snaps in and, and you're thrown out there as a true freshman. Uh, what's the biggest difference from that moment to the moment you're walking off the field and the crowd's chanting your name? I mean, uh, I think it's just, you know, the confidence that I have in myself now. You know, Whit and I were talking about it. You know, coming in, we were both under-recruited and, you know, our confidence wasn't as high as it, you know, should have been. Um, and, you know, really I came in um, out of high school thinking, all right, maybe, you know, I'll, you know, play redshirt junior year or something like that. And then, you know, as we started going through fall camp, we got more and more confident in, in ourselves and our abilities. And, you know, I think that's just the biggest thing for us is having that confidence. Um, and that's really just been the thing for me. And, you know, I just, you know, put everything I have into, you know, this team and this school. And it just feels good, you know, to finally get some wins out of it. In the back on the right. Eric, back here. And this is the first time that you've played 10 games in your college career. Uh, explain what it feels like to have your first really fully healthy season of your four-year career, and what does it feel like to do it with this team? You know, I'm just, just happy to be winning out here. I'm just happy to be playing. Um, you know, Floyd Little was telling me at the beginning of the year, you know, you got to play every play like it's your last snap. Um, and I really try to do that because, you know, you, you never know what could happen. Um, but that's not how I, how, how I go about things. You know, I'm just, just blessed to be here, blessed to be healthy, um, happy for my guys, happy for our team, and, you know, you know, we've probably brought one in back to Syracuse, which is what we've been trying to do all along. Mark? Question for Eric back here, uh, back here left, Eric. Uh, two parts, really. Uh, part one, how badly did you want to avenge the hurdle? And, uh, and second part is how badly did you want to win this game, not only win it, but win it big like you did, considering what Louisville had done? Yeah, I mean, the hurdle was just I thought he was going to dive at my leg, so um, he didn't. But... Um, and then the second part, yeah, I mean, I was telling the guys, I mean, Louisville's the one team that's really smacked us the past three years. So, you know, this felt good for us. And, um, you know, I mean, I really wanted to win by a lot, so I'm happy we did. I'm, I'm sure, Eric, I'm, I'm sure you're used to fan interaction at this point over the four years, but it seemed like that senior walk was kind of something else. Like, what, what was that like? How, how are you going to remember it? It was awesome. I mean, um, you know, try to take as many selfies as you can with the fans. And, you know, um, it's just, you know, for the people that stayed, really appreciate that. Um, but, you know, you, you try to give back because, you know, that's what we've been trying to do is just bring winning back here. And it just feels good, you know, that people stayed around and um, we were able to interact with them. Yeah, you definitely see, you see fans that have been there. You know, I remember fans who were there from, you know, freshman year, and I really appreciate them the most. You know, the people that <clears throat> have been with us from the, you know, when times were bad. Um, that's, that's the fans that we really appreciate. Uh, Kyle, I'm looking at the defense. I mean, I, I know Dino talked about earlier in the week, he put up the scores from the past Louisville games. I mean, what, what, what were your emotions in those practices, watching that scores on the whiteboard and now seeing the score at the end of this game? Um, yeah, I mean, those guys definitely put, us on, put it on us the last couple of years, and uh, it's been good to, you know, just get out there and kind of avenge what happened to us in the past. I mean, uh, we were focused, locked in all week. No guys had any fall off because we were ranked, started feeling good about ourselves, and I feel like that's the most important thing, that we're still focused on winning and just getting better every day. Um, he really just like took a moment of silence and you know made sure everybody saw it. You know he kind of went around, pointed out different seniors and said, you know, you see that, you see what they did to us, and you know, I don't know, it, it, it cut deep for a lot of us. So uh, it was good to get out there and try to get a little back from what happened. 
Yeah, and Kyle, in parts of this game looked like almost a defensive player's dream. You guys were able to get in the backfield, cause a lot of turnovers. Just keeping in mind what Louisville had done offensively to you guys over the last couple of years, what did it mean to just be able to have such a show of force against them today and really just wreak havoc on them on the field? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, sometimes we feel, you know, overlooked as a defense and, you know, we put a lot of work in and uh, we emphasize turnovers and different things like that. So to be able to go out there and show it on a Friday or Saturday night, it's awesome. You know, all the pieces coming together, everybody just doing their job and, you know, you see what can happen. All right. Hey, guys, uh, this is for both of you. Um, you've both been through a lot in your four years here. So what does eight wins mean and being so close to a bowl with two games left? I mean, Wits got the same mindset as me. We've just been week by week. That's really how we go about things. You know, we never overlook a team. We can't. Um, you know, we were that team that's been overlooked. So you know how it feels. So, you know, we got Notre Dame coming up. Obviously, it's going to be a very tough opponent, one of the best teams in the nation. But, you know, we're the underdog again. And, you know, we like being the underdog. Time for two more questions. Uh, Kylan, uh, position change, coaching change, scheme change. What's it mean to you to get to this senior day and, you know, be a, a, as big a piece of this team as you are? It's been awesome, man. Uh, I've always said this my whole career. I'm a team guy. Whatever the team needs me to do, whether that's run down full speed on kickoff and try to you know split a wedge or be a starter at the linebacker position, I'm just do whatever it takes to help this team win. And you know it's awesome that I can be a key contributor. But uh, whatever the team needs me to do, that's what I'm gonna do. Last question, second on the right. Eric, to your right. Coach was speaking a minute ago about his favorite memory of you uh, all time. Obviously, this is a big night for you. Season still is going on. I'm wondering from you though, at this point, after you've now played your final game in the Carrier Dome. How do you think the Syracuse fans will remember you? I mean, that's more of a question for them, honestly. I mean, I've just tried to, you know, do the same thing and just try to win every game and, you know, give it my all. So, you know, that's a question for them. That boy, legendary. Yeah.